And welcome to session 11 of our Caverns in COVID thing. Well, it's 12. 12? Uh, welcome everyone to session 12 of our Caverns in COVID adventure. Don't worry, I'll edit, I'll edit, I'll edit, it, I, I'll edit it in post. It's all good. I don't have the, 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 the glory of um, pre-editing. Um, yeah, yeah. The I, I thought we edited that in pre. Didn't no, um, I don't have. I don't have that. I've not um, ascended to that level yet. I see. You'll get there, buddy. Get one day, there. one day, perhaps. Right. Um, who? Oh, I think we all remember what happened last time, don't we? Yes, I know it consists of me having wrote session eleven, then the date, then in brackets twenty-one times two damage, new highest total. 42 underneath that, then the words amulet implications. Then there's a squiggly line. Thus ends my notes. Yep. My notes is suspicious crookery. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, oh, happy like Norway Day. Fantastic. I forgot to say. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. We're... <clears throat> happy Ryan Day. Oh, happy Norway Day. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. ah, very good. Um, does Ovec want to regale us with what happened last time? Did he give me five seconds yet? Four, three, two, one. And then the first second he robbed you of. Well, I counted from when he said. Well, it starts at one. Well, it's like when you start a timer, it doesn't, it, you know, it goes like, okay, you've got a minute, a minute on the clock, and it starts at 59. Mm. Right there, you 59, know. 59. Ovec. Nice. Ovec <laughs> remembers... Uh, Cool. Being in a tavern, yep. having some breakfast with Talk Jar, and then uh, we decided that we had to go in and investigate some rooms. So, um, I think uh, Talk Jar decided to head back to Merchton, um, so good, said goodbye, wished him well, and then we headed off on the road to the rooms. Uh, on the road, we were ambushed, or not really ambushed, we bumped into. I guess a disagreement between some uh, gnolls and some goblins, and a uh, bit of a chance to show off to our captives, we decided to dispatch them quickly and swiftly, um, with some pretty heroic um, athleticism on my part, not to mention the skills of my compatri compatriots. Uh, yes, after we, we finished them, we continued on to the... Uh, the ruins, camped out just outside the edge of the ruins overnight. I think uh, Dick Dogwheel got into a bit of a scuffle with a badger, or a badger mole. Or something. Badger mole, yeah. Uh, in the morning, we headed into the ruins, and uh, they, they stank of evil. Um, after entering the ruins, we, we noticed a figure that uh, I think Tilda believed was uh, an illusion. So we uh, attempted to talk to it, at which point the shadow beast appeared again behind me. The, uh, the shadow, or the woman controlling the shadow, mentioned something about my home, but I have not been home in many a year. Not so long that it is in my memory at all. So I think she said you were no home. But it was almost like she was talking to something behind us. Mm. Almost. That's the way I took it anyway. So yeah, and then she got distracted by the rest of my group. And well, what, what you were saying is Tilda shot her in the face and she fell on her ass. And we absolutely yeah, fucking jumped I wanted Definitely. Her attention back. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted her attention back and then uh, she wasn't the most inviting person so we decided to uh, engage or at least try and question her first by just preventing her escape and then she decided that it was in her best interest to fight back. That was a mistake. Just so for, your character I was gonna say, for who? <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> yeah. All um, ambulance, but not for me. I did make another character. It is now sitting, waiting for its data shine. <laughs> I've gone to some health again. Yeah. Now, Ovec, it's probably, it might not be as bad as it seems. Okay. If I get the turn order up, shaboom. <clears throat> now, 
Obviously, oh, yes. she is stunned until the end of Emu's turn. So really, it's Tilda's turn. Yes. So you've essentially got a free turn yes. to, to stomp it. And I reckon maybe, possibly, you could, you can do it. That's that's I'm just gonna give you that. So, so that's 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 mm. maybe changed my plan. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is possible. I, so, I don't think it's impossible. So Tilda. That's me. That is you. Um, no, Alexander, as he's trying to usurp Tilda every week. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So. Prone, so ranged have disadvantage, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm not going to go ranged. Um, I've got range that doesn't care about attack rolls, though. Um, but none of the saving throws that I care about are ones she's got automatic failures on. So that helps. Yeah. Um, I feel um, like I'm probably just going to go up and make a melee attack of a spell variety. I'm gonna go. Gonna go there. And you'll get advantage. And then, on top of that, and then I will cast another Death. level three spell. So will this actually give me the buttons to make it level three? But um, not. Let's see. Where are we? 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 Bam. No, it will not. But. Does that hit? But, yes, you do hit. Cool. Let me work out what I get for it being level 3. Blah, 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 blah. Rank second level or higher. It's an extra d10 for each. Right, so here's the base. Oh no, now it's letting me cast it. Okay, cool. Nicely done. Well done. 23 damage. Nice. We like that. We like that a lot. Yeah. So, you see Tilda just walk forward. Like fiery fan in her hand, and then as she's, you know, wording her magic, all these kind of green symbols keep kind of like building themselves fancy kind of jewelry around her, her you know, free hand as she's slowly tracing other symbols that keep the green energy spiraling around it. Her eyes glowing green, just reaches down and it all just kind of channels into this woman and then rapidly ages her as much as humanly possible. And by that I mean inhumanly possible and to the degree of twenty-three necrotic damage. Hasty. I love it. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, I don't know. Let me find out. <clears throat> uh, two seconds. And you are all check. concerned. That is some interesting maths on the uh, that extra damage, by the way. So, I would like to roll, like, that's 1 times 2d10. That is so weird. Yeah. Why is it one times two? <laughs> I don't think that actually should make a difference though. It no, just, it uh, still shows it as like two rolls, but that's weird. Times two. So it, it rolls a d10 two and then times it by two. Or, no. no. Um. What? That's weird. It still rolls it as two individual rolls. Did it though? A ten and well, you a five for that one. Yeah. From changing anything by two. Yeah. And that one says it rolled a one and a two. That makes no sense. <laughs> The weird thing is, though, it says it rolled a 1 and a 2. Let me do that again. I'm going to do the whole thing again. Right? Yeah. At level 3, just to see from my own curiosity. Well, bam. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm good. I'm happy. We did the same exact maths, but like, uh, different yeah. calculation. I just wanted to make sure the 1 and 2 weren't just the 1 and 2 from the maths at the start. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. I never even thought that's, of that. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Because um, I'm like, a 3 when I'm rolling an extra 2d10? That's a crap roll. <laughs> that's fine. That is a crap just roll, hover over that's that for the, for the, yeah, the viewer at home, which will be in a second. Nice, so done! 5d10. Because it's a level 3 slot. Oh yeah, 5, yeah, sorry. Yeah. My... I wish it was 6d10, but it's not. Um, <laughs> Great. This is, like, this is possibly Tilda's like, strongest attack she's got access to, quite frankly. Um, that was Inflict Wounds, obviously, uh, for everyday concerns. Um, and then, I think I'm going to use my bonus action, and I'm going to create another three level three spell slot with my uh, sorcery points 
Okay. That's what I'm going to do with my bonus action. Uh, I'm then going to uh, step back. Um, yeah, because I only was 25 forward. So I'm going to step back. And to make that slot, that was five sorcery points. So I got zip on the old sorcery points now. Done. That's Tilda. Four bam! Imu Akso! So Can she move. do it? <laughs> and yep, regular attack. I'm excited. Did you code the same button as your push to talk toggle thing? Yeah. Um. Um. Does she get disadvantage? Yes. Hey, that, no, sorry. That you have advantage. Sorry. You have advantage. Yeah. Attack. That's what I meant. Yeah. Not disadvantage. Do it one more time. Kabam. Yeah. Nice. I think That's that hits. There we go. Nineteen. Here we, we go. Just... Here we go. Yes. <laughs> this should be twenty now. Right? Show some tasty damage. Okay. Buff. Not until the virus mutates. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I think I would like to um, spend one key point to Stunning Strike. <laughs> no, she doesn't get disadvantage to a con throw, unfortunately, although that would be very broken, but... <laughs> Perm is stun. Mm -hmm. um, it'd, be, it'd be good, but it is a limit because stun key points, right? So. Um, yeah. Con bomb bomb and see if she's stunned for another turn. She might be. What's your DC? I have a weird feeling it is 13, but I think he needs to check. Oh, we wrote this down last time. <laughs> no, we didn't. You should have. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write it down. Well, where is it in your sheet? Not there. <laughs> 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 well, surely it's surely it's gonna have been typed above, right? I'm literally scrolling up right now and I can't. See I know. I find a DC, but I think it's yours. Of it. Yeah, seems like um, to the wisdom save DC for Peter. Do, 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 do. Thirteen last time. What was it? What do you mean you rolled? Oh. I mean, I can't see it, but okay. Yeah, I can't see it either. Yeah. Work it out, Emu. Learn uh, this and wait to do. She rolled 13. Oh, no, she rolled a 5, because that was. She didn't have. Advantage. No, yeah, she wasn't supposed to have advantage on the roll, so that she got a 5 last mm, time. We, do, we don't have any. Hmm. It's so, 8 plus proficiency plus stat mod for save DC. Which is? 8 plus 3 plus whatever your dex well, probably, modifier It would be the dex. It probably would wisdom be, modifier. It would probably be wisdom, right? Yeah, yeah, wisdom. Although, I do stand by that Necromancer should use constitution for casting. That Basically, what's your wisdom? <laughs> uh, 3. So, 14. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm writing yeah. it down. Nicely done. See, That's I think you can do it. <laughs> mm. I think you got it. Yeah, so she's stunned again, and I mark off key point. Where would you like to uh, write that on your character sheet so we all know and can remind you next time? Oh, I have a note I can write. I can write a note. Oh my god, yes. Oh no. What? Um, no, just... <laughs> The spell DC. Or no, you uh, can note somebody else's spell DC. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? 14. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yes. know what I can write. What was it again? Oh, so um, Cinder, I, made, I sat and made a randomly rolling table. Um, 
for wild magic the other day. So I I now know how to do all that for like if you put your entire list of random insults into it, you could randomly roll it with your um. There is a Peter mockery back mm -hmm. here somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> so we just oh, need to. That's oh, a zero. Yeah, we need to populate it with um the things. Actual mocks. Oh. Wait, some mocks. Some so mocks. Again, or is it a bit so I um emu attacked again. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's fine. I assumed so. And I assumed Zoom that, that hit. hits. <laughs> but I assumed it does hit. hit. Ooh. Yeah. And I will okay. also do an arm strike with my martial arts. Oh! Oh, damn. Oh! I have a funny feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. I got a feeling. Let me just do all the damage, uh, and then what was that? Uh, oh, and six. Six. Ooh. Ooh. Peter gonna get a kill. Well, she's not stunned, that's for sure. What? Buff. Tur turns out she just she's a masochist and this heals her. <laughs> <laughs> she's a, a nil bog. Mm. So, Emu, tell me the story. Um... Well, Emu feels a bit dumb for stunning her again, spending the key point. <laughs> um, but she, I guess, she does like a like a um, an open hand, um, like palm strike to like stun her down, and um, following the the two wax with her, um, her, her quarter staff, she then, uh, I don't know, gives goes in just. Um, Goes for a throat punch and she goes down and doesn't get back up. Brilliant. And as she kind of like hits the floor, she sort of evaporates into the the, the air. Oh, I didn't mean to take her axe off. <laughs> oh my. Um, in lots of tiny, shiny, pur purple, little sparkle particles, she gets blown off by a weird chilly wind. Oh my. Kovac, like, kneels down, <laughs> obviously being quite hurt by that battle, and like, rests on his warhammer. Brilliant. Uh, Tell the things that you move, obviously, clearly, a skilled warrior could not nearly have done this without Tilda making her very frail, indeed, beforehand. She keeps that to herself. <laughs> And then just, I think I don't know, I'll just turn to the group and say, is anyone gravely injured? Oh, what does it look like? Uh, you see the green in my eyes kind of like slowly dim back to the amber. And I say, it looks like I'm asking you a question. This is a dangerous place. Let's not prolong our time here beyond its requirement. I think I'd uh, stand up and just lay on hands myself. Um, I just have the image of like Terry Crews, like kind of doing yeah. his little dance as he touches himself. Because <laughs> I mean, that's and, what uh, you'd look like by comparison <laughs> to her. Yeah, I guess. I've got some food on the way, by the way, so if I disappear for two minutes, that's fine. Who what? That's fine. Don't um, yeah, so I'll start like rubbing my, my muscles with my hands and lay on hands. Oh myself, my. Um, for 15 points. That is fine. Um, so as you do that, Ovik... And then I say, I'll survive. Um, okay, as you say, I'll survive. Uh, I'll you, survive. Sorry. You feel a tap on your shoulder. Uh, I sigh and turn around. And the... Well, well your favourite your favorite buddy's there. Um, sure. For everyone else. Ha 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 ha. For everyone else, um, Ovik <laughs> just kind of turns around for no apparent reason. Turn around! Um, and the the weird shadowy humanoid shaped thing is standing in front of you, not Peter. Um, oh. oh. He can be shadowy. He can be shadowy. Uh, and he can be a friend too. Um, and you hear uh, at the corner of your left ear, he goes, oh. That's inconvenient. And maybe as you kind of like maybe look at the corner of your eye you see the, the the woman just kind of 
standing with her head kind of right next to yours. Damn it. Um, just eat her. <laughs> um, roll eating. Can't roll non. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know what to do. Oh, if I couldn't have a fucking clue what's going on here. <laughs> um, what are you? Um, as you kind of like say that, um, you like maybe like you know that sort of like the like tunnel vision darkening like of your peripheral vision like opens up again and it's just the sort of like you're maybe at the arch of the the start of the the, the ruins. That's where I've moved. No, you're like you're wherever you were is basically okay. what I'm trying to say. Cool. And then I think I'll say to the group, um, I don't think we've seen the last of her. Wouldn't it be great if you just had? That was it. <laughs> <laughs> or we then just roll an issue of again. It was the second fight. <laughs> Level Stay two. Away. You've unlocked my final form. Guys, it's our final form. Good. Three final forms later. So we got like ten levels of XP for that, right? Um, yeah, hit us up with some sweet, sweet XP. We can talk about that later. That's a later, oh. later problem. Feel like this levels too. <laughs> um, because yeah, well done. That was good. That was good. Told you it'd be fine, didn't I? Hell yeah. Did you listen? No. Yeah, two star levels spell slots later. Yeah. <laughs> fine. Totally fine. Didn't nearly die. Everything's fine. Yeah. How are you? So I guess kind of as as the like the the, the purple sparkles kind of dissipate, thing you kind of feel that um, you know, cold sort of malevolence of the place seem to like just get that little bit colder. Um, as like you know, maybe maybe the the camera does that awesome, horrible like, you know, hallway trick where it looks like the corners moving really far back um, oh so like i know it's a vertigo zoom but it's got another term yeah it's it's that but you know obviously horizontal maybe horizontal zoom <laughs> so you either zoom in or zoom out and you move the camera and you move the, the camera at the same way. rate yeah but the opposite way though yeah it's so cool yeah it's a very I love cool it. technique <laughs> it's just brilliant it's really no one cares sit down um oh. You were there. Wow. Was I? And you yeah. were there. And you were there. And you get so, a zoom. Uh, and you get a zoom. So. Uh, and yeah, we like. Anything besides the temperature changed? Um, you feel just a little bit more alone. Uh, in this, can I this, cast this, divine but... sense again? You can certainly can. Sense. You have to remind me what divine sense does. It's, you can detect. Um, there you go. It have to be reminded. Presence of strong yeah. evil. For Ben there. Um so yeah, very much kind of like before, um the like the building itself feels evil. Um it doesn't feel Anything more or less different to the last time. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Um you don't you don't feel that like any more or less. Um I think maybe you feel it's like maybe more focused in on like the actual brickwork as opposed to like the space contained within the building. Okay, if that so makes there's sense. Less evil. Yeah, like if it was like there is no less evil. Good... Okay, so it's not less evil. So no. she wasn't evil, is what you're saying, or she didn't at least contribute to the. She evil. did not contribute to the overall evilness. Right, okay. okay, that's all I wanted. To know. It's like you know, if you if you cry into the sea. I mean, you didn't contribute to the sea. Yeah, Dan, you didn't not contribute in a enough. Way. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So maybe, perhaps she was contributing, just not in a meaningful way. God, this is the whole tears in the rain. Bullshit, <laughs> <isn't it>? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write that down. Tears in the rain. Tears in the rain. There we go. There's some notes. I'm going to write Brilliant. tears in the rain, but evil. There evil tears in the rain. <laughs> or tears in the evil rain. No, because there's no tears. It's evil, but in a greater... Never mind. Carry on. Yeah. Anyway, back and back. Are there any fiends or undead or a... Uh, 
No, Celestia there is not. Feet? There is not. One day, Tilda will come as Celestial. One day. Soon. Soon, my friend. Soon. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, you've got like the sort of like a big archway behind you, or well, not behind you, and um, behind of it because you've turned around. Um. So kind of in front of you, where like the woman was standing between you and like the big archway that leads into yes. like a sort of. Right, so I she guess, was about twenty feet hallway. up originally, right? Yeah, and then she came down. Um, and like if we imagine, if we use our imagination, mm-hmm. that this archway is like the archway into an actual big corridor yes. thing, yes, as opposed to, and that was the vertical zoom corridor. Yes. Did we see that, or was it just Olvik? Oh no, that was just um, that was you know um, Steve at home. Up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So. And well, because like, it kind of zooms right on in the party, looking like badass. Mm-hmm. And Malovic, you know, uh, pats himself down. <laughs> so, is there if she works her way down, can we work, or can at least Tilda work her way up to where she was to see if there's anything worth having a nosy at where she was originally? Yeah, by all means. Like if you like, like you know, you look loft apartment, for example. Um, nothing's quite extravagant. You, uh, if you walk into the the sort of like archway bit, there's like stairs on either side that seem to spiral up um, and it wouldn't be too much of a, a jump to assume that they <laughs> might lead for Tilda. that they could lead up to where the woman jumped down from See, um, in theory without the uh, plot spiralling much like these stairs I think I'll go investigate I yeah they don't lead to the, they don't lead to the, the top of the thing oh man fancy <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> you go up one, but somehow end up down the other, and you just loop. Um, yeah, it's like um, think... the extra thing, please. <laughs> <laughs> to get back down, you have to climb the other set of stairs. Like, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Or fall, right? Yeah. Um, but no, I think I'll turn back to everyone. Else. I believe she came from up here. We should investigate to see if there was anything left behind that alludes to her purpose here. And up I go. I, I don't wait for MD, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Um, do you want to go up the left stairs or the right stairs? Hell yeah, the left. Quite right. Um, no, so yeah. left. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know, you, I guess you're kind of like walking up the stairs. It's just, you know, very standard. Like halfway up, there's like, you know, maybe like a little, you know, those thin like windows that you get. Mm-hmm. That lets air in, like arrow slit type thing. Like arrow slit, yeah. Um, and then like you can. Is there a scuff mark? See if I run my hand on like the outside of them, right? So if I put my hand through the window and like kind of run my my hand on them, is there like scuff marks as if arrows have actually hit this in the past? Uh, yeah. Um, there probably quite a lot. It's really scuffed, so it seems that um. You know, Mm -hmm. scenes of battle. Yes, maybe as you touch it, you get like a, you know, like just like a. One frame flash of like a, ah, a some battle, of, yeah, or precognition, I guess, yeah, pre post cognition, post cognition, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So, um, I think are the like the jagged, sharp impact kind of things of um arrows are they sharp as if they've been recent, or are they like like weathered by time? And oh, weathered, weathered by time, definitely. For sure. oh, okay, cool. So, definitely not attacked recently, then. No. Okay, cool. So, CSI Tilda continues up. Um, is everyone, everyone I was or... going to say, is everyone <laughs> else coming up? Or are you just like staying down? Or are you wanting to do something else? Go, everyone. That's where you all talk at the same time, and I get really annoyed that you all talk at the same time. Nope, that's when or works. not at all. Do we plan to stay here long? Who are you asking that to? Everyone in general, as you're walking off, I guess. Um, I don't know. I think. Um... I want to go investigate where she came from in case she's got other stuff up there or other people, for example. Um, Basically, I want to know if I'm able to take a short rest or if that's too long. Mm. I think that's a a question for when Tilda either gets murdered upstairs or uh, comes back down the other side of the (laughs) stairs. 200 years older. I guess I'll just say to the group, I think I need to rest. And then I'll just sort of sit in the middle of the room and try to take a short rest, but... Yeah, like at least head the countdown. Yeah. Yeah, you 
Yeah. You hit R and you just hope for the best. Watch yeah, that back. bar just slowly. <laughs> and you start a Halo 2 multiplayer game. Right. Yeah. You just hope nobody resets it. And just before I would do that, I'm going to use second wind on myself. I'm going to like stretch as if I've just woken up and like flex my muscles to like feel a little bit more revitalized and restore 1d10 plus my fighter level. Now, I'm pretty sure you used that in your... I did not. Yes, you did I because used... it's in the chat. Did I actually? Yes. I used stone and stone's endurance. Second wind of it. Um, that was I at the end of the that, session. Yeah. It was. Oh, was that at the end of the session? Of, I think he might have just pointed it out. Oh, so okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, uh, you've got it again just after action surge. Um, yeah, are we see if you posted it again. I'm going to attempt to do it. Okay. No, that's that's what um, I guess Ovik was asking though was like, and also Callum was asking yeah, yeah. like you guys because I went away upstairs to have a look at where she came from to see if there was right. anything else like yeah. any other people that might threaten us or any other stuff she might have had, and Callum asked what you you and Emu were up to. So of Callum, sat down. I can't remember a hundred percent, but I think I was probably pointing it out that the fact that I posted that there, I wouldn't have been able to use it because I've already used Thunder Smite as a bonus action. So my bonus action for that turn. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, that's so fine. I wouldn't have been able to use it, so I think I was just pointing it out for what my plan was for next turn to try and keep myself alive. Yeah, so if that's... you really had to, you could just count all the health and damage rolls. But yeah, if you really had to. I'm not going to. <laughs> not going to. It's fine. It is not a uh, Have a roll after it either, though. So. Anyways, uh, if we're having a short rest, or even if we're just trying, I will use my uh, song of rest. <laughs> See? Did you learn this from some kind of blue tit? I imagine. Uh, yes. <laughs> some kind of blue tit. Uh, okay, dokey. Um, has Emu up to anything <coughs> before? Yep. Or after? Or during? I think Emu would follow behind Tilda. Cool. Brilliant. So maybe as like the the two of you um get up to the top. Um, it is just probably almost exactly like that picture, honestly. Um, I think I'm probably just going to lean over when uh, Peter starts singing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it kind of echoes to... throughout like I'm just the entire like, place. No, like literally as he starts. Perhaps you should wait until we've investigated our surroundings in case you attract more unwanted attention. In the distance, we hear like the big exhale of air. The nose of Peter some just starts size. playing slightly lower and just looks over me. It's like, uh huh, yeah, maybe. Just like decrease the range of its effect. <laughs> Sitting on Ovek. <laughs> Sit on top of Ovek and I, I call closer, whisper like into his ear. <laughs> just wrap a blanket over both of you and play under the blanket. <laughs> Ideally, a wet blanket. We make a pillow for it, and no one can enter. <laughs> Unless they know the corresponding song only, of entry. Only boys <laughs> allowed. <laughs> oh dear. The wild creature is stunned and unable to enter this fort. Um. <laughs> but there's two boys allowed, and there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah. Say that? STS. Um, so yeah, uh, you, you, you two get to the Persenging. top. Um, do you, let me see, as you kind of, maybe as you're just like leaning over the balcony and, um, maybe like under your, your feet, um, as you look down, you kind of see like the, like worn out, um, like decorations on the floor. Decorations, as in, as in, like decals on the floor, like well, um, like, marbly, like, like, like like okay. you know, if you went into a Roman atrium, you, you'd see the. So it's like carvings in marble idea, or is it like like Christmas a mosaic? You should hang from a tree, like, like a mosaic, on the floor. like a mosaic, right? Okay, so like yeah. a fancy floor, like a fancy floor, mm -hmm. um, and maybe like the, let's go mad with camera stuff today. 
and maybe the camera does like like dramatic zoom out. It's like whoa, and it's no, like is really it big, faded. Is it, big, is it a big hydra you think? It's a sigil of a dragon eating a turtle. Okay. Uh-huh. And then the walls collapse. No, they don't. But then the dramatic okay. music goes dum dum bum 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 bum. And it does the yeah, I'll lean over and tell Peter to shut up again. <laughs> <laughs> um And then maybe do the does Emu and Tilda want to give like a investigatory role while you're up there? What is your investigate, Emu, and I will help you investigate or vice versa? Because mine's is a zero. Then you can help me. I'll help <laughs> you, buddy. I'll help you. Nice. Oh, Tilda's the best. <laughs> Tilda is the best. She says nothing, and when the emu searches something, she just points at the one place she has it. What about in there? What about in there? What about under here? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, as Tilda's kind of like pointing things out, maybe you move, you move like a like a brick to the side. Um, Does the wall flip around and we go to the other side of the cathedral? Sure. Do you know what? The entire the entire sigil turns like one eighty degrees, as if there would have been a wall there to like turn, and it it turns and it just turns on the spot like one eighty degrees. So it's now facing the other way around. And um, Emu, you perhaps pick up the uh, uh, a pendant um, containing the same uh, sigil on it. And it feels quite heavy. Um, very goldy, perhaps. Um, I show it to Tilda. <laughs> yeah, I look at it with Tilda's eyes. What does her eyes teach me? It looks very similar to um, the pendant you tried to give to the lady. Um, it's okay. like the same same size and, and shape. Um, Is one like a dragon, one like a turtle? If you slot them together, it's the dragon eating the turtle. Sure, why not? Ah, um, if if we think of it as like, um, or maybe the one Emu picked up, the dragon's like. Um, the opposite of indented, <laughs> so outdented, embossed, <laughs> embossed, and then, and then the turtle is um, turtle. The turtle is indented, and then it's the other so way around on embossed. the one that you've picked yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Um, and if you look at the one that you picked up, it feels um noticeably nicer as well, um, than it did. Like before, it felt kind of. I think it felt like it's sort of like aluminium before, and then it felt like maybe like brass painted gold type thing and now it feels it feels quite um fancy and nice and it looks a lot nicer as well is it just the weight or like the size of the texture that you yes so i think <laughs> with that then i think i'll look at with knowing that this one changed with the proximity to this place i want to look at the one emu picked up and then just do the test of holding this one closer and closer and closer you know to see if i can visibly notice anything changing on the one emu has now for the sake of it, we'll call it the dragon one. Yeah, cool. Um, as you kind of like move it closer to the to the other one, you see that um, that one seems to be getting you know lighter and more. Uh, Do they have like crappy a pull, like, magnets to to each other? No, they don't seem to have like a magnetic pull or rejection or anything like that. It's just mm -hmm. um, as you move like the one Emu had closer, it, it seems to get less nice as the other one gets nicer. I guess I'd just, I don't know, like, if they fit together in any way possible, I am willing to try. Um... Sure, yeah. Um, as you kind of, like, maybe s s slam them together. Um... I don't know if I'd use that word. I think very carefully and intricately see if they fit together. I don't think slam is the word I would want to use, because that feels more like a hammer word. Yeah, true. Okay. Gently um, combine the two the two amulets together or pendants or whatever you want to call them yeah. same difference um uh 
you know, maybe it does that thing where the dramatic music swells up and, you know, the light, like, appears and your hair does the... No, your hair doesn't. No, my but, hair um, doesn't do that. <laughs> your cloak starts to, to lift up a little bit and then it just, I you know, does so that... Tagged, I dare you. <laughs> very, um... Uh, very anticlimactically, like, nothing happens. Um, no, I... What actually happens is the it starts to like the the one emu had becomes more like the aluminium one and then the one becomes like fully like the one emu had and then they cut sort of like pulsate switching between each other as if they're like swapping um i want to say energies but that's not the right word but you know what i mean i don't know if you know what i mean but um yeah i need more on that i think because that seems important so, like, are they... Would it be like mixing two colours of paint? Is that what you mean? By energy? Because they're together, so they're becoming one energy instead of being two distinct things. No. So... Okay, cool. I have no idea what you mean then. So, right, I'm going gonna, I'm I'm gonna to hold two things so I can vis visualise it. So the one on the left and the one on the right, they're touching. Um, mm -hmm. And the one on the left is bright gold, and the other one on the right is, we'll say, silver for argument's sake. They both fade so that they're like the in between color, okay. so that they're the same, and then they swap. Right. And then so they, they continue to do that sort of like rotation of back and forth. Back and forth. Okay, but like if this, if they slot together, mm -hmm. do they meet an equilibrium at some point, or do they keep swapping? So they keep swapping. Okay. As they're connected. Do they stay together if I just let go of them? Uh, do you let go of them? I mean, if there's like some kind of desk, I'll sit them both on it, and then yeah, or maybe like you place it on like the, the sort of like windowsill balcony thing, or a desk that seems way more secure and not like well. There, there's quite off. a wide balcony thing. Okay, I'll give you that. Um, yeah, I'm they seem lie to down just... here. I need a desk. <laughs> um, yeah, no, they seem to just stick together as you like let go, and they seem to just continue to do this sort of pulsatingly swapping of I think um, I just looked at Emu with this gif and this is this is told its findings let me see yeah that seems right right I d I've got nothing else to go and I don't understand any of it so, so it would seem I do not know its purpose though hmm do they separate at all easily or difficultly or in any way it's like um so i'm, I'm trying to think of what like the you can like separate them so they were i'd like to time it so that they were back to like their original configuration you know the gold yeah. turtle the silver dragon i guess sure um yeah you can so you it's no it's, you know what it's not that difficult it, it feels like it's you know if you're like popping off something that's like been like clipped in quite hard so i'm trying to think of what a good comparison would be but um you know like a friction shut lid type thing where it's sure. you know a clasp yeah um it, but it does they do like come off and then are they um and the, and they do they kind of go to the like whatever form you've kind of taken them off at um but like the further away you pull them like this it still seems to be like slowly changing then that seems to slow down as you move it further away from each other, if that makes okay. sense. Okay, sure. So they still operate just at distance. Yeah. Um, emu. Matilda just turns to look at Emu. She turns to look at Tilda. <laughs> Tilda smiles. I have an idea. These amulets seem to be in some way a fantasy term for quantumly entangled and uh phantasmally entangled maybe no nah, because that sounds like illusion bullshit and, yeah, um, <laughs> fantastically I guess. yes fantastically entangled <laughs> there we go <laughs> <laughs> everything quantum's fantastic now so, <laughs> love it quick activate the fantastic drive uh, um, but yes so anyway I believe they are st 
still trying to interact with each other despite their separation. This could imply some kind of connection or bond that they share, perhaps even the ability to communicate across great distances. I feel like it could be worth testing further, such as you wear one, I wear one, we see what happens, or then I think she just like draw like looks down through the, the floor towards the two of them under a blanket playing music to each other. How far is it to the, the, the ground floor? Twenty feet, I think. I think I think I said about twenty feet last time. So we'll go with that. Can I um take um can can I take one and then just jump off? I mean you can. Um do you Okay, so my qu next question is my my first question is are you doing that? Is that what you're doing? So Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say that was gonna be my second question. Do you have something that stops you from taking fall damage? I was thinking basically my, my, my thoughts were take that. Just to quickly put some distance between us to, to test that theory in some way. Um, right, so I guess it's 2d6 you'll take. Yeah. Um, do you want to roll that, Alexander? Sorry, oh, to a maximum at the end of the fall, because you did the fall, it fell. Yeah, so, so it's 2d6. 2d6, and I reduce it by. Um, five times my monk level. Which is five. Right? Oh, wait, sorry. Which is five. Five, five so times monk your monk level. Yeah, five, so yeah. So you take no damage. Yeah. Nice. Score. Yeah, monks. N nice this to dump. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I need to push you off more things for science. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. For fantastic reasons, sorry. Fantastic reasons. <laughs> <laughs> um... So yeah, no, yeah. As you as you jump down, um, I, I think I would just like um pick one up and then do that thing where you walk backwards, like pretending that you don't know the the drops <laughs> there, and like um do a like one of those diving um dives and do like and like flip and land on my my feet um, back on the the ground floor. <laughs> yes, exactly like that, um. Oh, sorry, there's the proper one, really. Look at that amazing... That's the one, yeah. Acrobatics. <laughs> um, then I guess I look back up with the... Um, uh, the the amulet and... Or, the, sorry, the pendant. And I say, Did that make any difference? Um, so... I, I was standing there holding both of them, right? Obviously indicating maybe you should have one and then we should test this and obviously you move picks one up and then just you know and what goes her yes. way off the, the back of that yeah um i think i just look just dead ahead where she dropped you know like not even down at her just dead ahead just shake my head ever so slightly side to side and close my eyes a little bit and just exhale very slowly so um yeah, and then obviously whatever Calum's about to say. Yeah, so you may or you may not, you may choose not to notice, but I'll just I'll, I'll let you notice because it's fairly obvious. As Emu says that from the bottom, you hear Emu very clearly, as if she was standing like maybe a few feet away from you. Okay. And you look at the pendant; it seems to be operating like again slower. Um, it seems to be like changing. You know, maybe like you know when you've got the the little eye spot things that jiggle around, the the ghosty thingies. Like you yeah. know when you rub your eyes. Um, maybe it's like looks a wee bit like that. Um, the level that it's actually changing. But yeah. Okay. I think those are called floaters, by the way. Floaters. floaters. That's the one. Yes. Um, or um, visual distortion. Or no, what you're experiencing is a temporary. Distortion <laughs> of reality. I mean, aren't, isn't that always the case? <laughs> but yes, I, I think 
I think I'll just whisper to it then. Sweet nothings, obviously. Uh, Emu, you hear some sweet nothings whispered coming from not very far from you. In, can I, I like guess, Tilda's voice. Uh, can you what, sorry? Like, flick it with my finger. <laughs> like, you know, with a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Tilda, you do not hear the flicking of a microphone. Okay, I'm good with that, to be honest. Uh, mostly for my audio quality. Yes. Um, you can go in the bin, Alexander. <laughs> um, but don't actually. I think I just look at the pen and go, hmm. Um, I think I put it in my pocket, right? So I'm not actually physically touching it. Uh -huh. I speak again. I say, how about now? Um, Emu, you hear uh, Tilda say, how about now? It's slightly muffled. <laughs> it might not no, be, though. You, do, you don't hear it muffled. Emu. Or is it like through my headset? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is like Again, it just sounds like it's someone talking to you, like maybe like, you know, like two or three feet in front of you. Yes, it seems to still work. Try it in your pocket. Without holding on to it. No physical contact is. Or direct physical contact. For fantastic reasons, of course. Can I just, like... It's on a chain, isn't it? Yes, why not? It's on a chain. Um, can I just put that over, like, my course staff and hold it next to me? So it's still not touching me, but I, it's still... I can see it there yeah by all means um it is not touching me and yeah you, uh, uh, same as before uh, if you hear you hear emu's voice maybe you know as if someone was two or three feet in front of you wonderful and then um of, i think i just work our way downstairs yeah i was gonna say ovek and um peter you see a monk jump off 20 feet above you, doing a flip and just sort of landing and talking at a rock. Well, at a pendant. It's not really a rock. I was going to say, it's like silver or gold. Or yeah, I know. It's just, <laughs> I have rocks in the brain. I think it's, was it silver dragon? I think it's the one Emu has. Yeah, sure. Because I think the original one you said for me was gold, so I think I've got a gold turtle. It's important to me, okay? So do we zoom over to what we're doing? So yeah, no, yeah. How? What? What? What would you feel? You see, Emu kind of land next to you, having jumped from above. As Emu lands, he sees uh, Peter standing outside this little fort that he built, with a cup in his hand and a string that goes suspiciously into this. <laughs> Can you hear this now? He's now talking into this cup. They have made literally the same thing, just more fantastically. <laughs> Le <laughs> less efficient, more fantastic. Fantastically entangled with fantastic string. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I'm still singing into this cup, by the way, to keep up. Okay. I wish we could, like, make illusions and just have them for the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think, like, you have a bard there, right? Like, that is that yeah. is within his capabilities eventually, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, and how, does this, how does the song of breast go? <laughs> oh, God. You don't want to know. I think it's Shakira, right? Hips don't lie, and that's it. Or my so. boobs are okay. That's a Norwegian mm -hmm. song. Okay. In English. <laughs> <laughs> Super my boobs are okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Right. So you can, if you may, use this time to try and take a short rest, if you like, properly. Like we can just fast forward to short rest. I mean, time if you I wish. understand the need for people to take a short rest. Can I ask, what is um, our healer's spell slot situation like at the moment? <clears throat> if I had nine slots, just uh, picking a completely random number, obviously, mm -hmm. I would be on nine. Oh! <laughs> that was unexpected. I so have only used my one core spell. <laughs> Your one core spell. My yep. one core spell. 
you know, country. suspicious crockery and all those. So, you've only used counter. I thought you'd healed though. With the um, healing word. So it's Which a, is a level, it's a level one spell. It's not. Mm. A Wait, I might be in the wrong. I wish it was a cantrip. Holy fuck! You use cutting great. words. Yes, that was a thing. Yes, was that maybe it instead of healing? Mm. I just honestly felt like you'd healed. If mm. that's the case, I don't really feel like we the, should take the denied we damage. He don't think he healed. Yeah, exactly. He reduced. Yeah, the I can't damage. actually yeah, see. Yeah, but that, that's not a spell slot. That's um. Yeah, no, like that's as you're saying. I understand. Oh, that. it's, I'm getting I'm, confused. I saw the lay on hands, so that was Ovic. Yeah, that's Ovic's thing. So yeah, if you've okay. not used any spell slots, I actually kind of feel like we shouldn't waste an hour. I feel like someone has spied on us, and we we don't have an hour to waste. Quite frankly. Um, that's good. So yeah, you, cool. Did so I can... use a healing word on you? No. No. Because no. no. I wanted to use my spell. I healed myself. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, so you okay, don't, don't you're on seven right. or eight health from what I remember from last yeah. time, Ovik, and then you gave yourself fifteen, so that equals more. So you're on about what twenty three now? Twenty six. Twenty six. Uh, close enough. I'm doing memory maths here from. Uh, I did uh, the second one as well. So that got me three. As right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so that's more than we have. <laughs> so you've got twi yeah, you've got twenty six health, right? Um. And your total is what forty something? Forty nine. Right. So, how about you ask the bard for maybe one or two of his level ones, if you feel you need them, and we carry on. I just yeah, feel like waiting an hour is a bit. Okay. Well, again, this is the bard is going to walk up it up to him, and um, or Peter is just going to say, um, "I don't think we have the time for this. Um, it's." Nonsense, really. So, um, here you go. Have a, a yeah. What level did you cast at? That sorry. Oofed. Third. Oofed. Oofed. Ooh. It's Oofed. a spell nineteen. What's this? What the fuck is spell nineteen? <laughs> That's the name of the spell. That's what it says on my sheet. I did two more healing than it should have done. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's cure wounds. Yeah, yep. that is my yeah, that is my gut instinct here. <laughs> He's just renamed all his spells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just okay, wait cool. See my other spells. Oh, oh god. god, here we I go. Don't want to DM my campaign next week. <laughs> Tough shit. 2021. Um, okay. That's all right, buddy. To be yeah. fair, that's decent. You're you're fine. That's Don't you, worry. You're only you're only what two away from max. Two now? away from max. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I have one spell slot and one divine sense left. Hmm. So yeah, I, we'll deal with that later. I have another thing, right? So like, time out again, right? So not until not until the chat. Not until the Real time. Talk. Real talk. It's going to be horrible, but I feel like we should give you guys, like, one of the amulets and search this place in teams of two. He said it. He didn't quite say uh, it, but... No, no, I haven't said anything that you may be implying. Merely that if we have a spellcaster and a tank... <laughs> Sorry. I take you back. I figured that out like immediately that I was just gonna heal him and Ovik and Peter are just gone when they get back. <laughs> we are we have gone on an adventure. Say what? You, we you have need, fucked you, off. You need you need the amulet buddy for that plan to have worked though. No 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 no. Okay, you've got all sorts of things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got the the string in the cup, it's fine. Yeah. We've Unfortunately the cup. we're just carrying the string along. <laughs> Just it's so just, confused. you know, they just work. It's just that they, they can only communicate with the people they're going with. What's going on? <laughs> so, so, I'm just seeing this tiny little Peter. Just come on, come on. Here we go. So, in things that actually happen, though, yeah, when we're all downstairs and looking at each other, and you have touched Ovik and oh God, that's better for it. Oh. Only if you make yeah. it horrible. Um, spell 19, buddy. How can it be horrible? And, uh, <laughs> 
I think um, I think I just look at obviously the slightly more renewed and reinvigorated um, Ovik, you know, and uh, turn to Emu and say, I believe that if we want to search this place for anything of value swiftly, then perhaps going in teams of two, but keeping in communication at all times would be suitable. I fear that my discovery of this amulet, and I'll hold up the, the golder one, uh, the one with the turtle on it, I felt my discovery of this in the sewers means that the people have been tracking our movements since, if they are able to hear what was said in my proximity. That is everything we have discussed as a team. I look over at Emu and say, so I believe we should uh, split up. And then, uh, then I say it and it does the harsh cut of, you know, oh god, you said it. The freeze frame and the dun, it's like dun, they're, dun, they're, dun. They're like in QI when they say the obvious answer. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tilda picks all the streamers off of her, you know, and uh, after that, the gunge. And uh, cause it's now a Saturday morning TV show. And uh, I look at the three of you for input because if you don't want to split up, Tilda obviously won't because that would be dumb. But. <laughs> Do whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> I will take. I'm a naturally explorer, so. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to explore everything. I have a feeling because I don't trust anyone to explore well enough. <laughs> but merch. I think when you say I will take the bard, I think I just do the eyebrow thing, or like obviously, um, <laughs> what little eyebrows Tilda has. I she just raises them as if, will you, uh, you know, cheekily, um, feeling like she played matchmaker very well, and um, kind of uh, walk over to, to Ovik, and if you're not standing by this point, I'll offer you like a hand out of politeness, not that she's actually going to be able to help you up. I think with you coming back, I would have, I would have stood up uh, as we started talking. Yeah, and then I say, Try and um, be careful. And I just say that directly to a uh, emu, very specifically given that she just jumped off the twenty foot drop. Hmm. You know, <laughs> quite quite reckless in Tilda's mind, to be honest. And then um, I guess I look at the two obvious directions, right, and gesture to one of them for, you know, them. And nod to the other one for us, Ovik. And nod back and follow. I mean, no, you're, you're leading, buddy. Uh, okay, I nod back and lead. <laughs> Thank you. You're the big, big, muscly man. Come on. My job I... is to problem solve the problems you can't murder your way through. Okay. I am going to specifically look out for any kind of metal that could be useful for crafting armor or weapons later on. Okay, so everything's going to be made of wood from now on, X. Um. <laughs> And maybe maybe we hear maybe we see Dig Dog Leo run past as we hear like a bork appear from the. It's oh the my god! Corridor oh scene, right? my god! <laughs> yeah. Wait, I have a thing for this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> god damn it! So, what range are we to him, and is he within the hearing range of us? I think is my question. Is a seventeen good enough for us to hear him, or him to hear um, us? <clears throat> I don't know, like, like if we block. say, if we, if, if we'd like used this image, we say like, you know, use her here and here, and um, we hear the bark echoing from like this bit here and Dig Dog Leo just sprinting off in that direction. It does zero barking damage, unfortunately. Ah. I just feel like it says Jean. Jean! Jean! It's nice to think of, um, Jean Grey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Ovik leads the way. Uh, I mean, him will track all the locations of metal deposits so that we can send our workers there to get them later. Um, <laughs> speaking of workers, where the fuck are our two mooks? Um, Shock and awe. Shock and awe are like way back here. In oh, okay. like standing and in Rob. shock and awe at the place. Um, maybe um, we have like an image of um, 
Mr. Powers kind of like maybe trying to like get the the horses in a bit and they're like not having it and like shock and awe being completely unhelpful um well maybe as um emu and peter head in maybe we know like we'll go and deal with them because i think they could technically start collecting shit for you just now right mm -hmm. really um it saves them having to go out anywhere and if you promise to cut them in it gives them extra motivation to give a shit mm-hmm uh -huh. we'll uh -huh. murder them. Sure. You try. Like that creepy energy bitch that they obviously witnessed you destroy. Yeah. Um, sorry, so mystery like energy blown. Running around chasing borkers and that thing. Yeah. That, that's fine. He's, he's where he needs to be. <laughs> he's um, being his true self. It's going to be like that, those Scooby-Doo scenes where you have like the hallway. <laughs> And exactly. there's a dog, I was gonna say earlier, and there's yeah. Aggie, yep. and that, that is Dick Dog, you know? and everybody <laughs> else is just chasing something else, and it's just chaos everywhere. Eventually, it'll just be Borkers chasing him, and he's like, wait a minute, what? And then turns around midway. Yeah. Um, also, That's I'd just it. like to make it uh, very clear that Digsy is uh, definitely not cutting on that XP share, by the way, everybody. Um, we did that. That was us. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, yes. That's what he gets for chasing I'm Borkers. taking, I'm getting uh, Dig Dog Leo's XP. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, that's we that's it from you. That's how it works. No, no, no. Uh, I, 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 I soak the excess. I see, I see. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think we'll go back to them and just like loop them in on the plan. Um, uh, I think for Tilda, I want to give them the choice of you can <clears throat> come with us and go in deeper, like one each, so to speak, so shock and all, like dividing up between you know the dragon and the turtle team. And uh, or they can stay here and collect everything of worth on the surface and pile it up, ready for um, Ovex review upon departure. What would they prefer? Uh, I think. And Rob can guard them. That's fine. I think um, maybe when you mention uh, collecting stuff like on the surface, they seem a bit more engaged with not going deeper into this spooky um mm. uh spooky ruins um that seems to have spooky mystery energy blooms floating about mm -hmm. um and yeah they just kind of like look at you look look at Ovec and just go what 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 what, what um what are you after what 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 are we looking for are we uh, um this Metal. steak um oh weapons or armor grade um, just as long as it's not rusting or falling apart it should be good enough I do hope and they kind of nod and I just maybe they just start kind of like wandering around looking at the ground like maybe oh look over there maybe there's a thing over there something caught my eye I found me some iron root I found me some iron um, and uh, yeah there's kind of like Going about the place, looking. I think I didn't speak to Rob when they were off. Like I want to say this, and that one in private, uh, yeah. to him, and just say, keep an eye on both of them. If there is any sign of uh, betrayal, would I be disappointed if they weren't here when I got back? No, but I'll leave that up to your judgment. Keep them safe if you can. However, I will not uh, go out of my way to harm them, but. If I sense any sort of uh, rebellious phases, I'm sure it'll be stamped out. He gives like a I think big just, gnomish like, grin. Yeah. I think it's just thin lipped acknowledgement as I nod very subtly to him. Which is more of a you do you, buddy type <laughs> look, you know? Because it's more a case of there's two of them and one of him, so really it's, it is on him really to deal with that situation. Yeah. And off I go, I guess, hoping all X with me. Yep. Oh, it just it stays behind. And then, like, to be distracted from stuff on the way down. Follow, catch up, then lead. Perfect. <laughs> like, I don't mind walking in tandem. Do you know what I mean? It's just, I also yeah. really know that you are the meat shield here, and I am the, the other also here person. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I have a shield in one arm and a warhammer in the other. Yeah, and I will have my fan in one hand and my, you know, hope. And dreams in the other. 
keeping a sharp eye out for any kind of danger. Whilst I, I assume that Tilda would be better at the investigation kind of thing. Looking you can assume thing. that if you want, but yeah. Assume all you wish. Um, better than I am, anyway. I was mm. really hoping that you and Peter would have been in the team, to be honest. Right. And so and somebody had been, <laughs> yeah, it would have been the better division, but Emu, Emu claimed Peter first, <laughs> and I don't want to stand in true love's you know, way. So. It's like we, when we come back with all of our treasure, they'll have like a, a cart full, and we'll have like a couple of scraps. No, Peter will be pregnant some, somehow. <laughs> Speaking of true love, um, Peter and Emu. Yes. You have been... We are moving. We have been moving. Three days. We have moved. <laughs> cool. Um, we'll probably be searching for everything and finding absolutely everything fascinating. <gasps> oh, look over here. Oh my god, over you here. You find bits of pottery and, darting across. and various other things. Okay, yeah, so maybe... Like, if you guys went down sort of the... Like, the, the left and... Tilden Novak went to the right. This way? Sure, yeah. Okay. Bear in mind, this is art and doesn't correspond with anything to do with anything. It just looks pretty. And it's a rough it idea. And, like, that way is north, or? Yes, that way is north. Nice. Good. Um, yeah, imagine how fucked up the universe would imagine, be. Imagine if north, north was, like, like, this way. Yeah. Oh, man, that would That'd be, that'd be, be a nightmare. Who would do, that Who would do yeah. such a thing? I'm getting traumatic flashes at this because I have done that in the past. Uh, oh, no. North can be this way if you wanted to be. I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, because... I, uh, I in, like, honestly, like, north can be this way. You, you should just revoke all our powers. You should just make us watch through, like, it's Gord Lau alive something. Yeah, we can yeah. draw. See? Oh, uh, yeah. And we can make up our own, you know. Yeah, I need to remove your items and shit. Oh, yeah, see? <laughs> God damn it. Anyway. I'm wasting all my good rolls, son. You are wasting all your good rolls. <laughs> Um, so the two of you, as you kind of like walk down, you you kind of. Um, what languages do you two speak? That's a good. What languages does everyone speak? I think that's a good starting point. What language do we encounter? <laughs> that's a good question. Um, who? Just thought it easier than everyone shouting it out. <laughs> Contrarily, uh, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I feel um, so exposed. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do you know what? That seems about right. <laughs> You've got all the languages. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Okie dokie. So, uh, Peter and Emu. Yes. Um, you find lots of writing um, kind of on the walls in uh, the weird script that you just don't understand. Um, you can... I mean, feel free to... Censor. <laughs> feel free to... <laughs> um, I was going to say roll culture, but there... <laughs> there, is, there isn't a culture. <laughs> um, <sighs> what's the, the, the equivalent? Right. Hold on, get the list. So, what is it you want them to actually do? Like, what is? The I know if they want to find out what the like guess, like you know, because like I can't, I'm not proficient in reading Russian, but I can like, recognize like, Russian. I would say that it would be history, yeah, like history, or yeah. investigate, right? Because yeah, so insight. <laughs> What's this language trying to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> what are the it's walls the trying to portray? It's the motivation of the cursive. Um. Yes. But yeah, um, do you want to, like, if you want to find out what the... <laughs> My god. Say no more. Oh, yeah. I might ban you from using your character sheet. <laughs> you know you're going to get to a point, though, Cinder, where you don't remember what anything was. <laughs> yeah, I I'm literally deleting everything after. I'm... <laughs> okay, um, so if you want to kind of work out what languages are written on the wall, you can go for it. Okay, yeah. 
so um emu you you notice this is some form of draconic writing of some description like um perhaps draconic um <laughs> Uh, so every five letters, there's a dragon face. Yeah, um, and it's like you know, there's like, you know, every after at the end of every sentence, um, there's a just you know, a big scary like dragon stomping on smaller things. Or a scorch mark. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a series of scorch marks that people assume is the language. Um, it's just common written in suit. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, do you want to? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had a do brain fart. I think for that too. At low, low, low. I think you were like, yeah, I was gonna say you're shy, but convert is like did you vampire? Or age oh. vampire. Um, yeah, you kind of come across. And maybe like kind of walking down these like the corridor and stuff, you come into like a big opening, uh, and there's like a bunch of bodies of varying um, states of decomposition and just perhaps freshish looking corpses as well lying around. Um, most of them are wearing like weird sort of robes and stuff um, and kind of in the centre of this big hallway is like uh, a big giant cultish symbol thing on the floor perhaps one you might um, be familiar with Emu I knew drawing that in the first session was going to be useful <laughs> this is the octopus one yeah it's the it's the creepy hydra one the the cultish symbol that contains other cultish symbols and stuff um and yeah there's like a fair fair amount of dead folk in here of various like races and various states of age and stuff and obviously freshness. i can hear this and callum can't hear this but like the, i heard one of them ask uh, are they are the bodies arranged in any kind of obvious sacrificial murder death pact type way Emu or uh, Peter, do you wish to roll any sort of things, perhaps? I'm uh, pretty sure. Perception, investigation, anything. I'm pretty sure that Peter wouldn't care about the people and he would be looking for other things, which we yeah, can get to fine. after this round. Could I um, try and determine okay. how I'd long they do? close my window. You certainly can. Would that be a, a nature slash medicine sort of thing? Yeah, uh, do you want to go, um, maybe go around a few of the bodies and then, like, just roll, like, a, a medicine type check? Perhaps medicine. Um, yeah, so maybe you go around, like, a few, a few of the bodies, like, the, the first one you get to is pretty, um, like, pretty, you know, you know, it's pretty s solid, stiff corpse, um, bits of, you know, maggots kind of in the, the eye holes and stuff like that. So, you know, <clears throat> fresh enough that there's flesh on it. Um, you walk packs, packs past, you walk past, like, a, a skeleton of a dead thing with, you know, maybe bits of rags stuck to the bones of where their clothes used to be. And then maybe you come up to one that looks like it's been freshly, not freshly killed, but, like, you know, maybe within, like, a week or so. And would I have a, a cause of death for any of them? Um, they all seem... Well, not all of them. You can't tell, but the the bone man, he's been there for oh, who knows how long. But they all seem to have, like, just big, like, chunks um, missing from, like, their lower abdomen. Um, kind of roughly in the same spot. Only one creature is not picky an eater. Don't know where yeah, we're going. Oh, right. <laughs> Alright, from the Witcher. Alright, okay. I got that. I still not got that. Yeah, never mind. Anyway. One day, I swear, I'll get there. 
I know I keep promising. I was about to say it's, to say it's episode one, but then I thought, no, it might not be. Uh, I think it's like third or fourth. Three, three, I was going to say, it's, uh, I think it's because in the timeline, I think it's earlier, right? Yeah, it's earlier. <laughs> uh-huh. oh, fuck that show. That was a good show, but I, my god, what a head fuck, timeline wise. Um. Okay. The. Would I be able to glean anything from the the chunk missing? Do you think? Um. Let me see. Let me go off. Or is it perhaps... specifically around the liver or kidney or? No, no. It's like. Perhaps it's I would. Their call belly button. To... Why not their belly button? Um. Area is the chunk is missing. Oh. Um. Uh, perhaps. Not that big. I, I nearly said Tilda there again. Perhaps <laughs> Emu would call over to um, Peter and say, what do you make of this? Huh? huh? <clears throat> Peter has literally been going over with this tiny little hammer just like knocking on the walls trying to find secret doors. Um, and he's now looking over. And uh, while, while, while you're having the scene, you can, can uh, also roll like a, a secret door finding roll. At some I'm going to do this thing. Uh, yeah, give me an investigation, and then you can have your scene, and we'll deal with what what you find or don't find. With advantage, obviously. Yeah. Oh my god. Cool. Um. Very good rolls. So yeah, perhaps like as Emu calls you over, you turn around, um. He says, "Uh, do I make anything out of it?" Yeah, two seconds. We'll we'll get to that. Oh. Um, but we'll have um, we'll have this little scene first. Mm-hmm. I know it's hard. I lost like. something. So. Um. So yeah, what was it you said, Emu? It was um. Can you come have a look at this or something like that? Uh, what do you make of this? Yeah. Peter, like trumps over dead carcass. It's like Jesus Christ. Just, uh, I'm just gonna get. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, oh, put your head. Um, oh God. Oh. And like the not bit of wall that, that the, and the bit of Does wall. Does any that... of what Peter says comes through the amulet? <laughs> um, no, you don't hear any of that. Do I hear anything of uh, Emu? Yeah, you 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 hear Emu's side of the conversation. Cool. And you can assume you hear Emu's side of the conversation until I say otherwise. Okay. Um, and yeah, as like Peter's kind of walking <laughs> away, like the the wall behind him kind of opens up into like a secret cupboard. Uh, do I make anything out of the wind? Um, it, was, it was more like, does could could he help me on like an insight roll? <laughs> what does the lack of belly button tell you? Um, do you know what? Uh, does it look like it's been eaten by a massive rat or something like that? Any creature that we've seen? So it looks like a very deliberate um sort of cutout. Um, uh, okay. <clears throat> Are there any organs missing? Or no? Is that the word for it? Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. There. It's the thing you also play piano on, right? Like the massive piano <laughs> thing. Yeah. I was like, did I say the word? No, but it's the same thing. Never mind. Yeah. Um, cool. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. English is a nightmare language to work. It's. Do you know what it is? It's rubbish. Norwegian is worse. Trust me. So yeah, uh, you. You see that, yeah, it's, it's kind of cut out deliberately, but there's no, like, um, other than what you'd expect from a dead body, you know, like, um, things kind of, like, eating away at organs and stuff. Um, it's not like they've, like, just pulled their organs out of their, their stomachs or anything like that. Or it doesn't seem to be. Like, there's no, like, trail of organ remnants across the floor or anything. Could we make a medicine check to see if there's anything missing like an organ missing like a liver or a i think um or... i think uh, emu's 16 would be oh yeah sorry kind of good good enough to kind of say that yeah there's there doesn't seem to be things missing again other than you know on like the more decomposed ones there's obviously yeah. um how were the wounds caused 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 emu you hear um uh, how are the wounds caused in front of you? Maybe perhaps two or three feet in front of you. 
Do I hear what's coming out of Tilda's hey, You do though? not. Okay. Okay. Also, I'm, I only say this because I actually don't know what's happening because Emu hasn't transmitted very much. everything yeah. that's happening. I just need them to ask that question because if it's massive claw marks across their abdomen, it's obviously been attacks. If it's a all katana style seppuku, then you know it's some kind of ritual, right? So. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, also, look, insight wouldn't tell you anything from a dead body. Except maybe that they fancied the other person they died next to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I now need to know that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right, let's get her insight female, rolls. Right? What's that thing that they know their kinks? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, maybe the one you're kind of looking at has this sort of like, you know, maybe one of their eyeballs is kind of being eaten away, but the other one is definitely gazing towards another body. Of like similar um like time of death maybe. And you can see its arm is reaching out towards it. The other one. Um but the other body is not reaching back. Oh great fucking crit as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. You can tell that uh this this body um it was a one sided Love affair. Harsh. What, this, what this tells me is there's a beholder somewhere. That's all this. Tells <laughs> me. Uh, yes. Um, right, right over the body, you see a blink. Yeah. Okay. It was just a beholder eye the whole time. Does none of this like worry you enough to report it to the the wonderful uh, not walkie talkies? Um, I'll, uh, I wish they were stones now because they could be rocky talkies. Rocky talkies? <laughs> ah, they're so good. Um, Stony talkies. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Is there any way of trying to trying to discern what caused the the wounds? Yeah. Um. Uh. Do I make a I mean, no? I'm, the medicine check. I'm just that? thinking that. Yeah. It's um. Mm -hmm. I think, as I said, it's um, it looks like it's been very like deliberately cut. It doesn't look like big claw marks or anything has just right, gone and right. gouged them out. It's a very like clean, almost clinical, um, kind of just circle around the belly button, and then I guess the bit of skin that's there is missing. And it seems um, very precise. Like if you like maybe went from skin. body, yeah, like just the skin, and maybe you know, like some of the muscle under it, you know. Um, if it, you know, it's, it's not like just like oh, we just shaved off a bit of skin. Yeah, it's like a hole, but it's not. Um, it's the bit of the skin that the person eats in the witcher. I wouldn't know about that. Um, <laughs> no, stop guess, shaming um, me. Emu would sort of like hold the the pendant and say, uh, "We've got a lot of bodies over here. Uh, quite, they have died from. Um, ah, no." Uh, I would say that there's quite a lot of bodies, um, all dying over different periods of time. By the looks of it, uh, seems to be something missing from the naval area. Uh, looks like something may have been removed from them, or maybe um, I, I am unsure at this moment. Didn't you learn there was nothing removed? It's just like a layer of patch of skin, like removed off the top. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Looks like there's a patch of skin removed. I just want to know if like you're deliberately telling me something that's not true. That's all. No, no. It's just in in my head. It was is like a, a cut. Um. I guess like a, more of a gouge than a cut. Okay. Um. Do you think this is worth our notice? Should we? circle round to your location perhaps to investigate further are you in any potential danger besides the obvious uh not yet but i think keep keep your eyes out if you see something of a similar nature perhaps it will enlighten us about what happened here 
Is there anything else regarding the place? These uh, all the bodies in one location? Are they spread out over, over multiple locations? Seem to be all in this room, but we shall continue as such. Does the room seem to serve any kind of purpose at all? Uh, wait one. We shall. I think that a wall may have just opened. I, I presume till uh, Emu he, he would have noticed the, the wall. <laughs> yeah, you definitely <laughs> notice like the wall opening um, as Peter kind of turns around and walks away from it, um, and then maybe that's like you know, that's when when you say that, um, maybe that's when Peter looks around and goes, "Oh, sees the secret door," or maybe he doesn't. I don't know. No, I will probably. <laughs> 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 How dark is it? It doesn't seem that dark. Okay. We're in this room because I don't have dark vision. So. No, it's 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 light enough to see. Okay. Cool. There's enough ambient lighting. So, is it like this? Is it like an open space, or is it inside? It's inside, but you know, like there's enough holes in the roof, and like, there's ah, okay, like a, okay. um, and you know, big bits of roof missing and stuff, so you can like see the outside. Peter will get very excited and hop, skip, and jump over or on top of bodies. He's now completely forgotten his fear of dead bodies and is just rushing to see what's the secret door. Yep, yeah, uh, you kind of poke your head into the secret door and it's like this sort of storage cupboard thing. Um, Investigation? No, you don't need to. It's fine. It's a storage cupboard um, with like some like some crates and stuff in it. Um, inside the crates, there's like, you know, various bits of like fancy cloth and stuff. Um, there's like a a box filled with um, like little little carved dragons. Um, and then there's like a book, like sitting like on a on a bench type a thing. A book. A book. What's the name of the book? The book. Uh, his name is. Uh, written in some form of draconic that you definitely probably understand. Probably. <clears throat> cool. I'll take it with me though. The book. Cool. And uh, I'll take with me. How many dragon statues were there, or like figures? Um. So ten. Eleven. There's eleven of them. There's eleven of them. Oh. Take it back. Uh, the question is, should I leave even numbers in the crate or have even numbers on me? Uh, or leave do you... every place in a better state than what you find it. So I'll leave it in even numbers. So I'll take three. I was going to say, or do you take two. them all and find a bit of wood and make your own? <laughs> <laughs> I, I could do that, but no. I'm going to take three. Okay. Three. And they're made out of wood? Made out of wood. Nice. Uh, specifically tree wood. Dang. Tree wood. Yep. Is there any other type of wood? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> any other material type of wood? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Not tree wood, Google. Wood doesn't grow on trees. True. I mean, it doesn't grow on trees, I guess. I know, yeah. that was a very true statement. Yeah, well done. Speaking of true statements, um, maybe the two of you get your sort of, like, uh, comms from the, <laughs> from uh, Emu. Maybe, like, halfway down, like, your corridor. Or your your sort of like passageway or whatever, um. And again, the uh, on, like some of the walls, there's this like um. Weird writing, um, written on the thing, which I think Tilda probably I think you speak, slash. I speak draconic. Draconic, yeah. Um, so perhaps you recognize this as, um. 
the language or a a language um associated with draconic type beings um but it seems like it's a very ancient um like dialect so it's like you know slightly different like you know ye olde english equivalent of um mm-hmm. like if, or or perhaps like shakespearean uh, draconic oh God. um wherefore art thou gold yes um, but yeah, it seems to be kind of like jumbled and and kind of all over the place, as if people were just writing things down in a hurry. Um, and it seems to be like the word like prophecy keeps popping up and return of power and um, the I think like a couple of words just sort of like stand out. Um, Valtos and Kun. Um, but. So- when you say Valtos and Kun, are those names if they don't translate? Uh, yeah, so yeah, they're like, you know, the, the equivalent of like a, pr- uh, a noun, a proper noun. Proper noun, yeah. Yeah. Is the So that would either be a fam... Uh, or... Is that then? Uh, stick an H, so it's K-H-U-N. Because, you know, and Valtos is right. So that so could either be like a place H-Rin. or like, you know, um, first name or family name or something like that. So it's K H U N. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Do those ring any bells, Matilda? That's do you want to roll like a history or something? Uh, yes, and I'm probably getting no help from uh, the guy who doesn't have any relevance of history in this world. Um, yeah, sadly. So, yep. That, that's Don't worry about it, buddy. Nope. <laughs> there ring no bells. Um, <laughs> you you hear a bell in the distance. Uh, no. Um, I guess. No, you don't. <laughs> I can't know nothing. Um, yeah. You know that these are nouns that are written on a wall next to words like prophecy and return to power and various other gubbins. Voltron can. That's what I've got from this. Yep. Um, um, okay, so besides those two names I know nothing about, or like you were saying they were like family names, but obviously I have no relevance to... No, so I was just saying they could be like family names or they could be place names or they could be Thingy names from what? Yeah, they're, they're names though, right? Like they're placed. Yeah. they're like proper nouns, as you said. Like, so yes. they are proper nouns. Is there anything else of value in the text that I can translate? Um. Sure. Uh, there'll be like. Um, I have some like literature as a thing, which hopefully would have came in handy at some point. So it means. Yeah. Theory, do you want to? What What does researcher give you? Uh, it it means okay. Over. Okay, do you know what? Yep, that's fine. Um, Obviously, you th- I don't mind not knowing anything offhand, but the idea of yeah. knowing where I could know <laughs> would be nice. I think you... Uh, I think you would... think you could probably get this... Um, in like more information from, like, the... Maybe the older generations of like um perhaps like ancient old reclusive elf people um I'm feeling very attacked right now um, no i mean the oh, way older than you like your your elders oh my the like mystical weird um elf right, okay. doos that were in this thingy maybe you feel like they would know Does something or at least yet? um no it doesn't have a name yet okay cool uh, we'll get there eventually. That's okay, but I know of that, and that's where my thoughts go. They'll probably know. Yeah. Um... They came up before, and I feel like it was probably with me, and it was they probably about more. more right? Yeah. It, it was exactly really... that, yeah. I feel like this This is maybe like your... Yeah, this is the second thing pointing me towards the elves that I, you know, know of. Um, hmm. The other elves. Yeah, the 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 weird the weird elves that seem to just be 
old and no one knows very much about um, might uh, know something about the thing that seems like it's written by old people which nobody knows much about in a place that seems very old that nobody knows much about. So, uh, Ewan, what I've realised is uh, I think as much as you might not agree. I think you might be the O'Neill here. Just FYI. I think I'm the Daniel yeah. Jackson. And yeah, uh, we've got Carter, Carter over there on the other team. Uh, yeah. and, and and then Peter. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Shame on <laughs> Well, I feel Dixie's closer to Yeah, team. Dixie is probably Teal. Right. It's yeah. horrible to say, because like, this is why I thought, mm, I know you'd probably prefer Teal'c, and I see it, but because mm, yeah, you've, okay you've got the wise teal key thing going. Yeah. Um, we just don't have an O'Neill, really. Yeah. Um, I, the leader. I mean, technically, Emu's probably closer to O'Neill than Carr, but yeah, like, we're running out of cast members. Sorry, we're having a Stargate moment. Um, yeah. No, that's fine. So, I think... I, I approve. Then, I'm going to, like... No, I'll turn to Povic, and we'll be like, this is written in some early version of Draconic, from what I can tell. Uh, I don't necessarily know the relevance of its information beyond uh, Valtos and Kun. Mm. Can I? I think... Um... Three, or is that not relevant to me? Or Does religion matter? Like, would I, like, I was going to say... Does... Um... Maybe as you say Valtos and Kuhn, you get like a, a bit of a, a chill. Um, like, uh, you know, the, 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 the wind sort of funnels through the corridor. Ooh. Like, like magically about to fish or. Yeah. Or like, was it? Is it in. Frame? Maybe, maybe you get like a th that sort of like whisper in the wind as well, like the. It's very Dragon Prince right now, I'm not going to lie. Very um, Dragon Prince right now. It's when I realised yeah. I'm so close. I found my marathon his way through Dragon Prince and I'm just now just playing that out. As That's it. Thing, which I um, actually support. Also, you're in that show, by the way, Callum. Just am I? I still... I, oh, the main character is called Callum. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Um, anyway. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm saying this, obviously, enough so that anything I'm saying to Olvek is clear enough to somebody who isn't present but could hear what I say, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm describing it. Maybe I don't know if Lovick would notice this necessarily. You can decide, Ewan, But like I'm saying it in a way that maybe over explains things. But maybe I don't know if you click that. I'm saying it for Emu's benefit as well. Yeah, probably not. Um, because I'm like I'm definitely just being very detailed so that I draw a picture for yeah. Emu because I really wanted Emu to tell me about that goddamn floor and the the big ritual thing so I could then put together some ritual based on continuing something. But I can't do that because none of that was said to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, Callum, is there anything that I would know or would be able to make a roll to find out anything about Valtos or Kuhn? Do you know what? Do you want to give me a history check as well? Now they were saying from Tilda's point of view as well, is it religious in any way? Oof. Oof. Boom. Um, Boom. We'll come back to that. Um... Do you know what? You can give me a religion roll, a religion check. I don't know if, I mean, I don't if there is a religion roll, um, if you would, if you would like. Um, I will. Um, cool. But I, don't, I just feel like we got a nineteen, so we've won, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> Olvek. Yes. You remember hearing stories as a young giant person. <laughs> um. I was going to say as a small person, but I don't think Elvik was ever a small when person. When I was only six foot tall. <laughs> yes, back in back in your youth, when you were <laughs> but <laughs> yay high to a to a stone giant. Um, um... The star of six foot giant. Yeah, I was writing them down. Yeah. <laughs> six foot nine. These are all welcome. <laughs> So, oh man. Yeah, you I remember it. for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yes. That's a lie. I was lying. I assumed. 
you yeah you remember the um i think you i don't i think you don't get anything from like the, the word coon um but the, the the word valtos seems to sort of resonate like a memory of like your whoever um adult figure in your life um telling stories of like a great race of beings that ruled over everything else and that's that's basically all you remember yeah. from that um so that was kun that was that yeah no that was for valtos, was valtos. for kun you don't really have any sort of yeah. um not because um nothing to because your role's really good but because you just wouldn't not being from this universe i'll just say not heard of kun but uh valtos rings a bell some sort of mythological deity or ruler of everything something along those lines it was a story from my childhood though i don't remember much from back then so from ryan's brain not necessarily tilda's brain valtos to me seems some kind of sky air wind thundery type word and kun is either earth or fire i can't decide what one i feel like it's more like some kind of industry word maybe who knows um this is all from ryan's brain uh-huh yeah, yeah whether or not tilda has enough to put that together i don't know is there any like using my knowledge of draconic not my knowledge of if something was named kun, but like looking at the word obviously if you looked at something that was a what's the word i'm looking for here like a a place name for example that had like the word that was named Okay. You trace the etymology of that, mm -hmm. right? And that would so, be based on your language skills, not your terrible history rule. Yeah. <laughs> um. Do you know what? Yeah, I think it's not unreasonable that, like, uh, like if we go out of, is there a? I was gonna say, is there a languages rule? But um, there is not a languages rule. There's not a languages rule. Um. Yet. Or an etymology because am, rule. <laughs> because I am proficient. With languages. Yeah, so language. what I'll do, hold on, <laughs> we're gonna we're going to create language here. I'm excited. Right. Um so if you think if we say for argument's sake, I'm gonna get a pen so I write this down. Um I mean based on my stats I'd like to say this was an understanding the etymology of a word rule. Yes it's a wizard so, but no, yeah, but I, I'm also I'm also willing for it to be a uh, whatever makes sense. Yeah, no, that's fine. Like, I'm happy for it to be based on history again if it's the etymology of a word, right? Because that's probably yeah. The um, most so, I think maybe like after like Ovex says that, like you get the maybe from draconic class. <laughs> I'm, obviously, I'm joking, but um, like the the if you break it up into like Val and Toss, um, mm -hmm. Val sounds very similar to whatever the current universe dragon word would be for like rule okay and toss um being like uh close to like the draconic the new draconic for like dragon so it'd be like rule dragon or dragon rule or or okay yeah val toss a uh, rule and dragon that's how that really translates. So Val was rule, Toss was dragon. Just yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Does Kun break up the same way or? Uh, again, yeah. Nobody, the it doesn't really at all. Um. It what? Sorry. You Un. No, it it doesn't. Yeah, oh, okay. you, you don't get anything really from. Sorry. Kun. Not really based on anything, no, no meaning. So it's probably closer to like a random name, mm -hmm. yeah. for mm -hmm. sure. Okay, it's the best yeah. I can do with a one, guys. So, I so. mean, that's pretty good for a one. It's not bad. <laughs> Let's face it. Um, um so yeah, um, and maybe like as you kind of do, you sort of like carry on along the the passageway as you've had this or do you well i mean does it say, say? he who enter will die in draconic 
uh, a giant stone appears and goes, Go back! It's another talkie stone. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> there's no like, Be warned, he who sets foot here will perish. No, there's, there's nothing like that. It's just, again, you know, rise to power, uh, weird prophecy, um, smudges. That, like you know, mm -hmm. that used to be writing and isn't writing anymore. Maybe pictures of like little dragons. I say we press on, Ovik, and see if we can learn anything else from deeper within. Indeed. Did your um, wall reveal anything, Emu? My camera obviously harsh cuts over to them, I guess. Unless there's more for us. I mean, does Emu respond, or um, is Emu muted? <laughs> Emu's just waiting for the DM to say. Y what? Yeah, I think. <laughs> uh, exactly what I what I said to um, Peter, which was the uh, the box, oh, yeah. the crate yeah. of um, dragon carvings, and the like the the box of like cloth and stuff, and then the book, the book. that was on a bench. Uh, it was quite a some bench. sort of uh, storage container and uh, a book. Uh, it appears to be in some form of draconic. I cannot read it. Well, I think you just, after hearing everything I've just said moments ago, understand I can read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I shall take a look at that when we next meet up. Cool. I have nothing more to say because you're yep. not saying I... help or in danger, so I'm, I'm yeah. playing with that. I think what we'll do is we'll take a uh, five minutes or ten minutes there, and then reconvene in well five or ten minutes. Sounds good. Okay. Excellent. And Badoof. I have Badoofed. <laughs>